So this video is going to be focusing on mediation using the process macro in SPSS. So what is mediation? Firstly, the assumptions of mediation are the same as the assumptions for moderation, which are essentially the same assumptions used for a linear regression. Remember that all moderation or mediation models are essentially modified forms of linear regression and so the assumptions will be the same basically throughout all of the different models. Mediation models are an attempt to explain why a relationship exists between antecedents such as predictive variables and outcomes. So you have a relationship between x and y but why does this relationship exist? In a mediation model, we hypothesize that the effect of a predictive variable upon an outcome operates fully or in part through an intervening or mediator variable. So the relationship between x and y exists due to, in part or fully, a, a third variable, which we call a mediator variable. A mediator model, so again we have a conceptual and a statistical diagram or model of a mediation model. So on the left hand side we have our conceptual diagram. So we have our x variable, our independent variable having a relationship, a direct relationship which is um, characterized as c dash to the dependent variable y and this relationship is in part or fully caused by a third variable which we call a, a mediator variable. So whereas in a moderation the moderator is called W and mediation the mediator is called M. And thus the relationship between X and Y is determined to some extent by this third variable. And in the statistical diagram we have our direct relationship between X and Y which is C dash and our indirect relationship between X and Y through M. And the mediation is essentially determined by the product of A and B. Previously you would have to calculate the effect of the mediator using a four-step model by Barron and Kenny, but luckily for us process enables us to um, do that all in one step, which is why I'm going to be talking about it today. Right, so let's get on to the data analysis. So in this data set we have around 180 employees. These are salesmen who have um, participated in this study, our imaginary study. We have the number of hours worked per week for the last year on average, the number of years that they've been working as salesmen, the mean organizational skills that they have using some um, psychometric test, and the amount of income that they've earned in thousands of pounds. So that would be 37,760 pounds earned per the last year as an example. So firstly we want to see if the number of years that they've worked is a predictor of their income and we want to see if the level of organizational skill that these employees have mediates that relationship. We're also going to be controlling for the number of hours worked because we would assume that the more individuals work the more money they would get out of what they're doing. So that is the hypothesis that we're going to be testing and working with in this data set. Right, so we were to analyze. So at this point I'm going to assume that you have process installed. If you don't, then watch the moderation video. I go over briefly how to install it and get it up and running so you can proceed with the analysis. So if you don't have that done, do it and then continue with the video. So you go to analyze regression process currently version 3.3 by Andrew F. Hayes and would have a, a little box pop up so similar to the moderation exactly the same except we'll be changing our model from 1 which is a moderator variable moderator model to 4 which is a simple mediation model here we would put the income as our outcome variable and we think that the number of hours worked needs to be controlled for, so covariate. The number of years working as a salesperson is our main predictive variable, so x. 
and then we think that organizational skills is going to mediate the relationship between x and y controlling for the number of hours worked so we're going to put that as our mediator variable okay so make sure that model number four is selected and you can change your number of um, confidence or inter confidence interval level 95 is the default and then you can also change the number of bootstrap examples so as you can um, assume the not larger the number of bootstraps you have the more accurate your confidence intervals will be but it'll also take a lot longer to run the analysis so I'll just leave it at 5000 as a default right so then we would go to options we have a couple of things to select here Firstly, we unfortunately we can't generate a code for visualizing interaction because this is not a model of um, investigating moderation effects. So what we can do is show the total effect of the model and as well as the effect size because these are both um, mediation specific options. Again, I always leave the probe interactions Right, so once we've selected these, click continue, and then click OK. Um, now that we have our output calculated, we can start investigating what is actually been shown to us. So firstly, we can double check that our model is correct, model 4, our Y variable is income, X variable is sales, tenure, number of years worked, our mediated variable is organizational skill covariates controlling for are hours worked so just double check that what you entered is what you want and our total sample size of 172 right so our first outcome variable you can see it is focusing on organizational skill which is our mediator so this is investigating x to m our, on our pathway here let's get back to it so x to m would be a1 and thus going back to our output this out this coefficient here sales tenure sales tenure to mediator we can a1 would be 0 0.07 all right so if we're going to draw out the model then we would put a coefficient number here of 0 0.07 okay then here our outcome variable is income, so this is our, depend our dependent variable. We have here organizational skills of 4.9, so that would be our B1. So again, going to our, our, our model here, A1 would be 0 0.07, B1 would be 4.907. Right, so then to we wanted to go the Baron and Kenny way, then we would have the product of those two coefficients to create our mediation effect. But we're going to do it the the process way, which does it for us, easy peasy. And then our direct relationship between sales tenure and income would have a coefficient of 0.3657. So that would be C1 in the model. So that would be 0.3 five six seven unless I can't remember that point three six five seven yes that would be C dash right so now you know what these uh, these coefficients actually represent in the model we can go on to looking at whether it's actually a significant mediation effect and to do that we would go down here so we're looking at the indirect effects of X on Y through org skill and we can see that the effect coefficient is 0.3436 and that is significant because looking at the bootstrap intervals none of these bootstrap intervals go on to or include zero so if it's below if it's higher than zero when the effect is positive for both the lower and upper confidence intervals you can assume that it is significant at the alpha level of 0 0.05 or five percent Right, so there we go. There we know for sure that the mediation effect exists and it's significant. But we can also go one step further and calculate an almost um, a type of effect size. So now we can see that the total effect of x on y is 
0.7094 and our indirect effect is 0.3436 so our indirect effect accounts for a certain percentage of the total effect that x has on y and to understand what that is we can simply calculate it using our handy Microsoft calculator so our total effect is 0.7094 and our indirect effect is 0.3436 so we can say 0.3436 divided by 0.7094 equals 0.4843 so this is essentially a percentage so times 100 and we can see then we can say that the proportion of the total effect of sales tenure or the number of years worked on income that operates indirectly is 48.43% so 52% of the relationship operates directly so 52% so the number of years worked accounts for 52% of the outcome of, of how much you earn but 48% is managed through the organizational skills of those employees and how they do their job so that is essentially what a mediation analysis is looking at. And there are other things such as partially standardized indir indirect effects or completely standardized indirect effects, but I'm not particularly overly concerned about the difference between a standardized outcome and a non-standardized outcome. It just represents um, a standard deviation, which doesn't really tell you much. So my method is not to um, look at these particularly one particular ones because I feel that the unstandardized coefficients tell us just as much as they would so it's kind of like an extra unnecessary step so that is my little video on mediation analysis and i hope it was useful if you enjoy the video give it a like maybe subscribe to the channel and i will be um, making some more when i have some time